Number 67. The pH of a 0.10 molarity solution of caffeine is 11.70. Determine the Kb for caffeine from these data, and then they give us a balanced equation here. So the first thing is I'm just going to rewrite it a little bit bigger, and then we're going to analyze it. So we have C8H10N4O2, that's aqueous, plus H2O. So they already are giving us a balanced equation. Okay. Whoop. There we go. And this is at equilibrium, which means that the acid or base here is not a strong acid or base. And we'll figure out which one it is in a little bit. So C8H10N4O2H plus, and that's aqueous. And then finally, we produce OH minus, and that's also aqueous. Okay. So is this an acid or is this a base? Telltale sign is if you produce hydronium or hydroxide in solution. In this case, we, we made hydroxide, right? OH minus is hydroxide. Anytime that you make hydroxide in solution, the resulting compound, that's not the water, is going to be a base. So if you see OH minus in the products, this is going to be a base. This is not one of my six strong bases, so I'm just going to say that this is a weak base, WB. And then likewise, if you produce either H plus in solution at the end or H3O plus, that shows that your initial compound was an acid. And also, I mean, they did say that we needed to find the KB. B stands for base, so it kind of goes together. Okay. So, they told us that we had a pH value of 11.7. So maybe I will, maybe I'll just write that over here. We had a pH value of 11.70. And they told us that we started off with a 0 0.10 molarity solution of caffeine. This is assuming that it did not dissociate into its ions. So the 0 0.10 molar of the caffeine which is the weak base, the C8H10N4O2, right? That was initial. So maybe I'll just highlight that. This is initial. And if they give you a pH value or a pOH value, these are always at equilibrium. So it's a good little trick to know. Anytime that they gave you a pH or a pOH, that's always at equilibrium. And then the value that they give you to start off with, that's initial. Now, if you they gave you initial values, they gave you equilibrium values of a weak acid or a weak base, we know we're doing the ice table, mainly because we need to find that Kb. So I'm just going to do my little cross section here and blue for bases, so I'll say ICE. And just know that when you're doing your ice table, remember, H2O, liquids, are not allowed in your KB expression. So who cares? Get rid of this whole column. That was just there to get the right products. But as far as math, we don't need that. Okay. So initially, they told us that we had 0.1 molarity of the caffeine. This was the caffeine. Okay, so I'm going to put that up here, 0 0.10. Now I come over here to my ions. They didn't say anything about having ions in the beginning, so I have to assume that I have zero and zero of it. C stands for change. Remember, you could only go up from nothing. So if you start with zeros, you can only go up. So that means that you're going to increase in a value on the product side and decrease on the reactants. We don't know really by how much just yet per se, so let's just say x, minus x, plus x, and plus x. And then comes equilibrium, which is the E line. We're going to use this to get our Kb value. And the equilibrium is just the combination of your initial and your change. So 0 0.10 minus x is 0 0.10 minus x. 0 plus x is x. 0 plus x is x. Now, if we want to solve for the Kb, that means that we actually have to have numbers here. 
I can't have any variables because the variable is finding KB. This is where the pH comes into play. Now, maybe we can go from a pH to one of these ions. This goes by our knowledge of our pH equations. Now, drop down here. Remember, pH, I wrote it in red because pH is the acidic component. But if you're in base world, like we are here, we have to convert pH into pOH. And it's a very easy formula. So let's just drag this up here. So pH plus pOH equals 14. If we want to solve for the pOH, which is what we want to solve for because we're in base world here, all we would do is we would just subtract the pH, right? pH on both sides. And now my equation turns into pOH equals 14 minus the pH. So pOH equals 14 minus 11.70. So let's just see what that pOH is going to be. 14 minus 11.7, I get 2.30. Okay, but still we're almost there because if we want to get rid of these x values, this column does not say pOH, it says just the OH concentration. So that's another formula. So I go through all my formulas and say, do I know an equation between pOH and just the OH minus? And there is, it's the other one down here. So let's pull that one up and then maybe I'll get rid of this. If you wanna solve for the OH minus concentration, you just do 10 raised to the negative pOH which we just found. So OH minus is just equal to 10 to negative 2.30. So let's try that out. 10 raised to the negative 2.3. And this is still not the correct answer at the end. So I'm gonna give it a couple of decimals, 0 0.00501, that's good enough. Molarity. Now I know that that's what this X equals. That's the OH minus concentration. So this equals 0 0.00501. But if this was X and this is X, this is the same number. So 0 0.00501. Okay, so I have two of my equilibrium values. So maybe I'll highlight these and I'll highlight this one. Now I go over here, this is 0 0.10 minus x. Well, we just found out that x was 0 0.00501, so this would be 0 0.10 minus 0 0.00501 to get that equilibrium concentration. And we get 0 0.9499, 0 0.9499. Maybe let's see, I could bring this down and that's my third equilibrium value. So pause the video because I just want to erase these because we need to solve for KB, that's the question. So just pause the video if you need to write this down, but these are going, bye bye. And now let's get to it. We're going to solve for KB and remember KB is just equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. Only aqueous or gases are allowed, so that's why we can't include um, the water, because it's a liquid. So this would be C8H10, N4, I should pull this out a little bit, O2H plus times OH minus divided by c 8 H10 and 4O2. Let's plug in the actual values. KB equals, actually, let me make that a little bit bigger. These are good now. Okay, so we got 0 0.00501 times 0 0.00501, so basically squared, divided by 0 0.09499. And that, will get us our KB value. Let's see. 
0 0.00501 times 0 0.00501 divided by 0 0.09499. And now, I guess, two sig figs. So 2.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, and that's our answer. Not bad. So the, the hardest part here was just to know that we couldn't just convert pH to H plus because we needed to get to that OH minus. So we just had to do that one little step more to get the right OH minus concentration, and then we're good. Okay, I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. Go check the channel out. We also got physics and math videos at the moment. Love to help you guys out, and I hope you're doing well. I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.